See? Yeah, there we go. See, I hate relying on the front-facing camera because the resolution is lower. Right. It's like 720p in the front-facing. And this is really terrible lighting, for me especially. Can we just, does it, I can move back. No, no, we're, we're doomed. We're doomed. <laughs> so look what Gordo got. The Leatherman Tread. And, and I had just asked, and we had to stop. So, Gordo, <laughs> what's it like traveling with the, with the Leatherman Tread? Like, so, can you wear it on a plane? You can? So, so here's the thing. Uh, Leatherman says you can, and you can uh, if you're an American. Uh, the TSA doesn't mind this thing at all. Uh, the rules for tools on flights regulated by the TSA are something like you can't have a tool longer than seven inches. And the, what you can't have a soldering is, gun or soldering iron on them. Yeah, I suppose not. Unless especially you have a short the, one. especially with a with a butane. Yeah, uh, that's illegal <laughs> for other reasons. But not so, that anyone's ever tried getting a butane torch so, on the plane. So it's fine. In America, and it's fine on outgoing international flights. Wait, let's stop there. How do I, how do I, don't I, aren't you supposed to be able to like, or do you, do you not? You just do that. I what just, you, you just do that. You don't actually like open it up like you would a watch. No. You don't There's have no, to. It doesn't open at all. See, this is the cool thing. Focus on there. Right? So you do that, and then you just bend it. And there you go. Bob's your uncle, as they say. And there's a tool on there that I'm not sure I'll ever use. The clasp. Look at the clasp. The clasp has a thing on it for a quarter inch socket. Oh, no. I thought you meant it has a you know, bottle opener. You're probably going to use that. No, there's. Oh, that. Yeah. You can put a quarter inch socket on this. I don't know if I'll ever use that. But... So if you had a socket set with you. Yeah. This is my <laughs> bracelet and a socket set. <laughs> and nice. it comes with, there's some nut drivers, like as the, in the links, like in the middle. Those things. Yeah. Those are cool. So anyways, it's fine on domestic flights and outgoing international flights. And probably some incoming international flights. It's not okay, or it's more ambiguous whether it's okay, on incoming international flights regulated by, what is it, FADS or whatever, the British security, British plane security people? Because I was coming in from the Cayman Islands, and... The I put that in the, the little bin, and the guy was like, oh, no, 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 we don't do tools. And I was like, I flew in with it. What do you mean? What are you talking about? And uh, he was like, no, 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 this is, uh, TSA is different. You can, we don't do tools. This has got to be checked. And so I had to, like, he hung on to it, and I went through security the rest of the way, and then I had to, like, leave my bag with my friend and uh, and come back out and get it and take one of our carry-ons and check it with that in it because it was like it was 25 bucks to check a bag but this was a Christmas gift and if I had to like if I was going to buy it again it's like 180 bucks you pay a premium for the black finish of course so but as we you. know thank you Merry Christmas or Gordo likes the murder black finish yeah murdered out that's right that's right so <laughs> immediately I think well what if it doesn't fit can you remove a link to make it fit you can yeah but then you lose a tool you do so I've that to, my wrists aren't all that huge. Yeah, this is this and is so, a little bit tighter than well, I don't know. Than than you usually wear? I don't know. So I got my Oh yeah, your watch is a little loose. My watch is a little loose. Yeah, I, I had to remove it's an interesting process trying to figure out what links you're gonna remove. Yeah. And, well uh, you'd probably well And it comes with way too many. Like I've removed like three. Oh. Or or two. And one of them it comes with one half width. Half width? Uh, yeah, it comes with one half. Comes with a half width. Uh, there's one that's only half as wide in case you need to find because th those links are huge. Yeah. So adjusting the width to any reasonable there we go like tolerance is uh, pretty tough. So you have to uh, they give you a half link to get middles, but then if you have to do the half link, you're stuck with the tools that are on that one. And it's stainless. Is that one yeah, assume? it's. I, I it feels it's, stainless. It's stainless and it's uh, and it's finished. I, mean, I don't know what the black finish is, honestly. Um, I was thinking I'd go on Proto Labs or at least come up with a CAD model for a, like a generic, like a template, one of these, and see what it would cost to have it done out of stainless, like on Proto Labs, and uh, maybe see if I could make some custom tools or a custom length of link or something. And, 
start messing around with it because these don't they're not that complex of a part and they're very small hmm. I would do it on the pocket MC but I don't want them out of aluminum right well for the right tool aluminum might be good enough right hmm hmm indeed hmm I want a okay. I want a pair of reading glasses that would strap suddenly I want yeah I can see go go, go, go gadget it would be like, it would be, you'd have a bracelet here. It could be a Leatherman tread. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so you get two of these, right? Right. And you make a thing that's got a link at each end and connects them. And you put one here and one here. And it has reading glasses between them. Like on a, they share a link, a real long link. I, I don't want to, like a bracer. Yeah, but that's, you want glasses on your wrist. You it's kinda... a, it's the Leatherman bracer, right? Yeah, For you... all you, wasn't that, isn't that a Dungeons and Dragons thing? Isn't that like a, when you wear those big, yeah. They're like this, like yeah. Wonder Woman. But yeah, you know. if you had two of these and you, they had a link that was shared, you could. No, uh, you could, I don't like that. You want? You just said you wanted reading glasses. Yeah, but not like that. Things. That would be. That, I mean, like, I want maybe, more like the slap wrist thing. You know, little... like that, and I okay. I want like Jordy LaForge. Oh, reading and it would glasses. make it would be a big band that went around your head. Not around my head, because then I'd be like from the seventies. I'd be like sweatband. Combination reading glasses, sweatband. Better call that OTC. Fog, that would fog up. Yeah, better <laughs> call OTC. Okay, here's show and tell, part two. All right. Oh, yes. I saw this. He made this. This is cool. There's a few things I would change about it if I made it again. It's a little bit loose and stuff, but uh, it came out really good. You're probably wondering what this is. Now, where did this come from? Was that from the original... Which the, 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 oh, the, the rubber things, right. The rubbery things. So Wera sells, the, the precision screwdrivers that Wera makes, the Craftform Micros, they sell, the biggest pack you can get is a pack of 12. Yeah. Um, so this isn't one cut in half. No. <laughs> Which no. would be cool. Yeah. But it wouldn't be like, that. Well, this would, would not work well if that was actually. But uh, they come in a pack of 12, and the 12 pack is based, it's a canvas, or a, a, a whatever they call it, Cordura case, but it's only got 12 in it. And uh, this has, <laughs> this has 80. <laughs> but so I took the badges and stuff off of the wear case, and I set some of my own patches on it too. So it's ultra, ultra cool. But uh, yeah, wear didn't make a case big enough. For yeah. A proper set of precision. Proper. Speakers. Yeah. A full. Now, now, do you can you carry this on an airplane? That depends. Are those <laughs> are those less than seven inches? I. <laughs> You'd have to wonder, as you check this through to the TSA, they, they'd be like, hmm, are you planning on dismantling the plane? <laughs> it's, it very clearly says... Or, or doing dentistry on the plane. It very clearly says, as you go through security, where all the signs are that say, like, you know, take off your shoes, <laughs> you know, sit on your laptop, you know, um, whatever. Don't uh, bring a... This is it awesome. very clearly says, no tools longer than seven inches. That's so you can't stab someone in the heart. That's right. And uh, it's interesting because I, I brought one of the Sizzle Magic Arms with us as a camera mount thing. And I had the tripod base folded up. This is nicely done. That's just very nice. Thank you. I'm very, very pleased with it. I think it, like, it can stand up on edge like a book on a shelf. It has like a spine. It's great. So... Now, just for, for the casual viewer at home, yeah. If one had to say, what would what would it take to say? Uh, 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 the word escapes me. Um, get to the point of having this many. We're a precision screwdrivers. You need to be very. You need to be a very special boy. Yes. Uh, and and how how how. So you can't buy this. How funded set. do you need to be? Like, so you have to be pretty funded. That's like three hundred dollars worth of screwdrivers. It's not bad. Um, that's, that's you know the hey and hey tested guys. You can't order them as a kit because Wera only sells the twelve packs. So you can get like a twelve pack of you know nut drivers, or you can get a twelve pack of uh, you know Imperial hex drivers, ball end and flat end, or you can get a twelve pack of uh, Phillips and flat assorted or whatever. Or you can buy them individually okay. from like I, I I got I went through Casey Tool for a lot of them, um, and it's funny because you can tell the ones no one orders because Wera has made several different like slight variations like the silk screening on the the printing that says what size they are and stuff. Were you sure they're not like knockoffs? No, they're, they're like real. Chinese, they're old. They're just older. Um, but uh, so I 
through buying 12 packs for value and buying individual tools on KC Tool and stuff like that, sort of slowly accumulated this big collection that I had like a mix of in a box and like on a, um, I have a piece of optical base, you know, the quarter 20 grid stuff. And, uh, not in there. So, uh, cheese plate as they, yeah, basically. And so I, I had a lot of, uh, screwdrivers just bouncing around and, uh, my mom does a lot of sewing. And so I've, uh, she runs a quilting business. And so I, since I was young, I've been around sewing machines and stuff and like messing around up in her studio making whatever. And, uh, I was like, hey, mom, what I want is one of these. I gave her the 12 pack holder thing. Mm. And, uh, she got out the CAD and. No, she doesn't. She just. She, CAD. She, sewing she, with she CAD. Basically, she basically told me it was impossible. She was pretty sure her sewing machines wouldn't be able to go through this much material. Really? Um, and so we went down to. Uh, we actually went to an outdoors uh, equipment supplier slash manufacturer in New Hampshire. There's a. It's called Ragged Mountain Sports. Good guys. They make custom. Uh, and I don't want to say homemade because they're a real company now, but it used to be like a small shop that made outdoor equipment for the people in the White Mountains. Enthusiast stuff. An enthusiast um, shop, you and, might say. And uh, they grew into a, sort of a real business, but they still make their own, like, stuff for the most part. Um, but they also sell fabrics. So you can get specialty, like, ripstop nylons and Cordura, like heavy-duty canvas and waterproof stuff, things like that. So we went down there and got uh, Cordura 1000D canvas, nylon canvas stuff, um, which is the same fabric that the originals were made out of. It's actually the same fabric my backpack's made out of. Um, and, uh, and my mom was still skeptical about, like, because it's, like, three layers of, it's, like, two layers of Cordura like, and, the, like, the, the military needles to, like, parachute. No, we, we to... used, we used uh, jeans oh, needles. No, no, that's, that worked pretty good. Denim is a, is a big thing. Um, a heavy, heavy thing. But, but this is, like, there's like a lot of places where it's like a patch and then cordura and then two layers of like a stiffener so that it's not super floppy. What did you use for the stiffener? Is it's just like this special the stuff, basically. It's like this, <clears throat> uh, it's white, it's woven. It looks kind of wooly, but it's like really stiff fibers. It's basically just a tangled mess with some glue binder, I think. Oh, okay. I had a feeling it might be like one of those kind of plastic, I want to say like needlepoint kind of uh, e things. But, no, you know. not quite like that. It's some kind of... Uh, it's a it's a fabric, more or less, but it's it's made out of some kind of stiffer nylon. So now we're gonna cut it open to see. No, yeah, no, no, no he's not gonna let me do and, it. And uh, <clears throat> well, I have some pictures, so if this goes up, you can put some links. But uh, the uh, there's some places where there's a lot of fabric here, plus the elastic on the thing, and then once you've got all that together, then you have to bind it. So you're going through the binder and all that stuff. So she was kind of skeptical that it would. Was it do was it. it difficult to do it? Or was it like, oh my god, look how simple that was. There were some parts where you had to be careful, but this this Cordura stuff stitches pretty nicely, stitches real nicely, and her sewing machines aren't they're not small time sewing machines, so right, right. it worked out pretty good. So it's a it's a um, it's not your typical home sewing machine project, but no. oh, I mean, I'm sure it could be. I, yeah. and, and as a, the but just don't don't that, don't break your sewing machine and blame us. Yeah, and don't let a needle break and go flying and hit some important part of you. Right. And if you want to watch a movie, Annabelle, horror movie, sewing machine, creepy as shit. Anyway. Uh, so anyways, yeah. And this came together in like an, two nights, basically. So like the one day we went down to the fabric shop and I started sort of like laying out patterns and figuring out how I wanted it to fold and stuff like that. And then uh, started cutting and cut it together. And the one thing that we didn't have was the elastic. It's all the screwdrivers are held in by carefully arranged elastic, which was really tedious to sew. Hmm. But uh, we didn't have that, so I had to make a late night Walmart trip, which is something you just don't do in New Hampshire. My parents were like, what? Walmart's still open? It's like 11. But it and was then, open. Yeah. So I went in and got some elastic. So someone in, in New Hampshire. Yeah. Right. All the people who work at Walmart. Apparently. Right. That's where we got our fireworks, too. No. Yes. No. Half we got at Walmart, half we got at Target. Target. Yes. That's an ominous name for a place to get fireworks. Especially when they're all ground-based. New York legal. New York legal. Absolutely. So, yeah. That's the story of the screwdriver binder. Good Case one. Folding canvas 
book. Enough of that for now. Good night.